Monday afternoon. I was about to say good morning. I'm still on vacation duty. I have no idea, but at least I know it's Monday. I'm Courtney Savala. Derek is off today, but I am not flying solo. I've got radio host J Mac from 97.9 The Box in the house. And I'm happy to be here. I'm so glad that you're here. I listen to you all the time. I have for years. Well, appreciate it. I get up at 3 o'clock every morning. You know what? I used to be on that shift, too, and I gotta tell you, I don't know how... I, I don't know how y'all do it, you know, because it's brutal getting up that early and having to be excited and chipper and happy. You know, you know what, it's just having a passion for what you do. And when you have a passion for what you do, everything is easy. Absolutely, I love that outlook, I really do. <laughs> you're, you're a Houstonian though, right? Uh, well, I'm from Conroe, it's like 50 miles from Houston. Yeah, well, you're a Houstonian. Yeah, I guess you can say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not Louisiana, so. Well, it's not too far, but yeah. it works. I know. So um, we, you know, I, I was gone all last week. We went on a, a family vacation uh, to 30A, so Florida, Rosemary Beach, Seaside area. And um, they, uh, this is our family here. This was okay. after, uh, one of the baseball games. We were there for my oldest son, Connor, um, plays 11U baseball for the Timber Grove Thunder. That was him on the mound. This was a triple, uh, the U.S. triple S. I'm sorry, the U Triple S A okay. World Series. And these boys battled hard out of 18 teams. That's the whole team there. Oh, man. Isn't that a cool shot? It is. Um, they came in fourth. And I got to tell you, in the history of Timber Grove Thunder, so that's the select team. Right. Um, this is the farthest that this group has ever gone. And um, it was such an incredible tournament. These boys play hard. They uh, play hard. They're all really good friends. The parents are amazing. And uh, they definitely left their, you know, the blood, sweat, and tears on the field. We had a lot of fun. I saw that y'all were having a great time because we you were. know what I did? What'd I you looked do? on your Instagram. Oh, did you Instagram stalk oh, me? Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> what I do good. So I saw y'all. I was like, look at her having a great time over yeah. there. Yeah. You know, it's so crazy because, you know, we, we got some really good beach time in, and the beach in, in uh, Seaside 30A is amazing. Like right. this crystal blue water. But I have to tell you, the first day, it was triple red flag warning that we went to the beach. So so the, the water was And why did y'all go to the beach? Brown. It's the warning like that. Well, we didn't realize that until we were actually there. Oh, you know, okay. We roll up to the beach. We're like, what do you mean there's no swimming? There's triple red flag. We don't even know what triple red flag means. But is this sounds crazy. It's not, it, the waves not were safe. crazy. And I got it, the water looked like Galveston. So I thought, everybody tells me about this crystal blue water. Right. You know? Right. So a couple days later, it was, it was totally fine. But speaking of the baseball thing, like you and I are kind of kindred spirits. Yes, I don't know we if are. you know this. OK, I don't know. But if you, you don't know what I believe it. Okay, so um, the the baseball team they they all have walk up songs like like legit baseball players. You know when they come up to the plate, uh, they have walk up songs. I'm the DJ. Come on now. I, I okay. Am. Since you're the DJ, what is one of your songs that you play? Okay, one of the kids, Drew Davis, mm -hmm. his walk up song is the theme song from The Office. What? I know they're crazy. We have some Mark Anthony. So how did he come up with that? He likes song. it. Is he dad introduced it. him to that? No, I don't. You know, I asked. Some, one of them is Twisted Sister. We're not going to take oh, it. Oh, Twisted Sister? And I, I thought, you know, surely these are the parents, right? But my kid, Connor, he had, um, he had God's, uh, Drake was his, uh, the, sla the oh. now you're going to put me on the spot. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. We know it's Drake. It's Drake. Something by Drake, y'all. 
And it's the new his new song by Drake, and um, it's one of those things that these kids are very specific. I need it at 12 seconds, at 20. I'm like, listen, we're not playing the whole song. You got 10 seconds because they look at me. You know, you got to cut the. So music I can off. see you. So how you be doing it? Well, you I wish. I mean, in my just head, like that. In okay. My head, I'm doing okay. This. In my head, oh, it's a lot of this on my phone because it's an app that right. I use on my phone. But I edit the music. Do you? Yeah. You're a great mother. I don't. Well, you know, I'm the one yelling and screaming. It's fun. It's not a lot of fun. Not only do you take them there, mm -hmm. you're the DJ. You protect it's fun. them. You know, okay. what would your walk-up song be? What do you think? Do you got Ooh. a hype song? You got a. You good... know what? It's an artist by the name of the Baby. Okay. And he got a song called Shug. Shug. That would be my walk-up song. Okay, right we're now. gonna have to look that up. Y'all gotta look it up. I would, I don't know what I, I feel like I have so many different moods sometimes. Like, I don't know if I'd go old school, like a good Okay, what mood are you in today? So, today, if it was today, you got on your nice outfit today, yeah. what would be your song You know right what I'm now? totally digging right now? What? Kendrick Lamar, Humble. Humble. It's like it's the city. Really? I love that song. Really? I love it. Really? Yeah. You, you walk up on it? Let's I see. would. How would you walk? I would walk up. This uh -huh. would be me. Like the song plays, you know? And uh -huh. you'd be like, hang on, let me get in my place. Let me see if your walk is cooler than walk. my walk. <laughs> Look at the picture. Uh-huh. Bringing it. You know what I mean? Well, let me show you how I walk. Cause see, These the are baby. Heels. I wouldn't be in. The the baby is a wild song. Can I get up? Yeah. I know this live TV. Yeah. So, so walk over this way. I'm looking way. at the so producers, the... y'all. Yeah. Okay, what here I come. Oh. Oh. See, you it's know you got to do small. See, I, I would help be slow. I don't know. I'm the... a slow walker. Cause uh -huh. I'm like, I'm short. No one's gonna expect anything from the short one. You know? <laughs> right. I fight dirty, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Two older man. brothers. I've learned how to fight. Okay, let's talk more about you. Let's okay. talk about. Um, so we love that. Um, we know your walk-up song now. How right. did we get J Mac? How did we get that name? Well, when I first started radio, a young lady gave me that name. She said, "What is your first name?" I said, "My first name is James." She said, "You know what? You're a Mac." And it became J Mac, J and it stuck. That, that's it. Yeah, simple. What would mine be? What would my radio name be? Ooh, what do y'all think? Um, something sweet. Um, um, cute Courtney. I mean, why would you argue with that? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Coming to you now on the morning drive. Yes. Uh, okay, so I want to do some fun facts with you, Jamie. Fun Mack. facts. Okay. Now, this is scary. I don't know what your producers have digged up. You know, I this know. is this can be serious. You got me scared. You can juggle? I can. Hopefully, y'all got no balls around here. We have anything that he can... Oh! oh. oh. Funny oh. we should ask for a segment coming up. Come on, you man. Y'all got some wild producers over I here. I know. Man, if Listen, I fell on the... How did you learn how to juggle? Well, you know, back when I was a kid, I was in Boy Scouts. Okay. And so that is how I learned to juggle. Okay. Are y'all ready? We're ready. I have never did this. Do we need juggling this. music? Can you give me some? I mean... Can you just snap your hands and your producers go like that? We got some juggling music. Let me, oh, sure. okay. Here it goes. One, two, three. Oh! Oh! That's better. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm off the camera. We put him on the spot. We put him on the spot. Okay, okay. no, I got to get it. Okay. One, two. Yeah, yeah. I can't do it. I know. That's okay. God, That's good. Okay. You can. Man! It's better than my try. Listen, you can juggle. We're going to give it to you. Okay. What's the story about Beyonce? You, well, played, you played basketball not with Beyonce. Um, for that? Okay, check this out. So, Beyonce had a concert, and I knew Beyonce was coming to Houston. And I was like, you know what? How can I get on that stage? She was oh, picking yeah. people out of the audience. So, you know what? I went to my PD at the time, Terry Thomas. She was like, you know what you should do? You should go do a food drive. So, I did a food drive. Okay. So, Beyonce daddy heard about it, and he was like, you know what? Beside during the food drive, used to play me a game of basketball. And I played him a game of basketball. And you can you believe this man beat me? He way older than me, <laughs> but he beat me. So what was, did you like say, if I win, I'm going to meet her? Or what, yeah. what happened? Yeah, but I didn't win. But he gave me the opportunity to meet her. And I got on stage, and she sat on my lap and sung me a song. <laughs> it was such a beautiful thing. <laughs> Wow. Yes, yes. That, it, it worked out for me. That's a pretty good and I say all consolation that, prize. Right, and I say all that to say sometimes losing, you can still win.
Absolutely. And you did in that scenario. I did. Oh, my word. You know what? I think it's good. I always tell my kids, you gotta, you got to win with respect. Right. And you have to lose with respect. Right. I'm not sure how you would not win in that losing situation. Do you see where I'm going? Right, right. She sat on your lap? She did. And that was a beautiful time. A beautiful time. We need I'm a I'm thinking moment. about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, other than that, other than that moment, that brief moment in time, uh, any other special interviews or special radio moments or famous people? Um, yeah. Besides you know Houston what? Life, of course. <laughs> when Obama was getting ready to run, he called our morning show. And, you know, when it's something in the urban community that needs to get done, they yeah. called the Mad Hatter Morning Show. Yeah, absolutely. So... That was a great interview, and he it was actually had his birthday, and he said, "Hada, it's your birthday." So he knew his birthday and everything. That is so, so cool. So it was such a great moment. But um, we see so many stars, and it's such a great opportunity to work at the radio station when I got that um, possibility to, to meet anyone. Right, and it's so cool that um, in that in, in within the radio community family, right, a lot of those opportunities are given to you guys because when they're coming in town, you know, they want to promote the shows and their songs and right. their music. Do you find it now more difficult or easier to get with the artists considering, you know, you, people aren't going out and physically buying an album. They're downloading music or they're getting it readily. You know, remember right. those days we would record the song when it came back on the in radio? the radio? You know back what I mean? In the day. No one's doing that anymore. No one is doing that. And you know, now people, they can use this right here. Yeah. Their phone. So it's kind of hard, but we make it work. And you know why we make it work? Because we are a brand that has been around a long time. Absolutely. And they trust the brand. You know, it's always about trusting the brand. Yeah. And when they trust you, you can get those interviews. They'll come to your show because they trust you, like the people that come to this show right here. I love it. I love it. Okay, so you're also a vegan. Right. When did that start? Like, how long have you been vegan? Two years. Um, a lady at the show, well, at the, my job, she was like, you know what? Let's all try it. So we all tried it. Kind of did a challenge. Did a challenge. It was slow. Yeah. Slow. Were you a meatitarian before you became uh, vegan? Well, you know. A little bit? I ate a lot of meat. Okay. I ate a lot of steak. Okay. I did all of that. Do you miss it now? You know what? No. I think after a while, it becomes who you are. Sure. And I feel healthier. I've lost like 30 pounds. And I think I'm looking great. How am you, I looking? I think you look great. You do. You're fit. You look great. <laughs> Seriously. Um, okay, so what about me? Let's get back to music. What's kind of like the, the summer hits? What are we doing? Okay, they told me about that, and here's where we're going to go. City Girls, Act Up. Do you know who the City Girls are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They are hot right now. But Beyonce, Before I Let Go. Mm, good song. Okay. Yeah. Khalid, Talk Remix. Okay. I like Khalid. The Baby Shook. I need to look that one you up. You gotta look that one up. He's up. one of the hottest cats right now. If you don't know him, I bet you your kid knows him. Okay, probably. Okay, yeah. and the last one is LMA with Shot Clock. Okay, I don't know if I know that one. Well, you need to get on it, because if I'm saying it and it's on this show, hello, then it's what's happening. Yeah, and you know what? Even if you don't know, download the songs and go home tonight with your kids and be like, hey, I've got this great song. You all need to listen, and then you might earn some street cred with your kids. <laughs> <laughs> that is you know so what funny. I mean? I That's love so doing funny. that to my kids. You know, they'll come up and say a funny slang and, you know, they think you're totally hip and you're not. But anyway, it's okay. All right, we do a little thing called rapid fire here. So okay. we give you a choice. We just want to get to know J-Mac, right? Some of these questions This is are... another trick. Oh, you're trying it's to come not. after me. No, 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 no more juggling. Okay. Okay, do we have rapid fire music? Do we have good stuff? Oh, we've got the, we've got the timer up. Okay, so here we go. Choose one, morning or night? Morning. Yeah, morning person. Coffee or tea? Tea. Really? Yeah. All day? Yes. Hot, cold? Uh, cold. Okay, interesting. Least favorite chore? Uh, dishes. Yeah, me too. Go to dance move. Uh, oh, let's say it again. Go to dance move. I can't dance. You. But if I did. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> I just made was it up. Is there a mosquito in here? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> okay, you're taking charge. I yeah. like it. I like it. Pet peeve? Uh, if, like, some people bugs. who are late. Oh, yeah. I hate late people. Yeah. Because I think time is the most valuable thing you have on Earth. Yeah. So, late people. And the late people that text you at five minutes after they were supposed to be there and say, I'm, I'm late? No, right. No, you, yeah, you are really late now. You, really you late. You were late five minutes ago. Okay, one item you can't live without. Um, 
My jewelry. Okay. Biggest fear? Uh, not winning at life. Okay. What makes you smile? Getting up every day in the morning. Yeah. I'm just a smiling person. You are. You're very positive. I like it. Are my teeth white out there? Yes. Okay. All right, we're going to end on this one, though. The most embarrassing moment you remember. Do you have an embarrassing moment? <sighs> embarrassing moment. I don't know. I haven't made one yet. Okay. Hopefully, I'll make it today. No. Well, we're good. <laughs> we're good. I love it. Thanks so much. And where did you go to high school? Where did you? Conroe High School. Conroe High School. Yeah. Do you get back there? You get back there? Every once in a while. Oh, you know. You figured it out. I figured it out. What is it? It wasn't really an embarrassing moment, but a teacher told me one day that, hey, J Mac, I, your imagination is so vivid, you won't make it. So I went back to that school and I had made it and I was on radio and I spoke to the class and I made her example. And that's not an embarrassing moment, but at the But it's stuck with you forever. And an yeah. adult telling a child you're never going to make it, shame on you. Shame on you. I'm glad that you went back and did that. And you know what? We're happy that you're here today. We're going to have some fun. You well, ready? thank you so much. All right.